Why don't you get something special for Grandpa? I'm sorry. Can I return the cake, please? Sure, yes. I want the cake, please. I won't ask for anything else. Next time, OK? When we can afford it? Last time you said that. You don't want this? I'll take it back. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, this is for you. I know we cannot accept it. Would you please? There's no reason for you to buy the cake for us. Well, when I was seven, my mother wanted to buy me a cake. Mommy, I had this one. By the counter, we didn't have enough. Can we get something else? It's my birthday today. Can I choose my own cake, please? I'm sorry. Then, there's this man. I've never met him before. Here, have the cake. Happy birthday. I didn't know his name. I never got a chance to say thank you. I've never forgotten about him. The man in the queue. Thank you. No, thank you. Can I have your contact number? Let me repay you when we have the money. Promise me something, okay? Someday, when you're able to help somebody, you will do it. May I know your name, Mister? Well, I'm the man in the queue. Wow, this is my favorite. Thank you. Let's go and put some candles. Oh, oh, oh careful. <laughs> Aiyah, you shouldn't have spent the money. Actually, a kind man paid for it. You give me this note. Please write down your address. I'll bring the money back to you later. Simple act of caring creates an endless ripple. That comes back to you. Today we're going to be talking about kindness. 
And that little video that we just watched showed us how even a small amount of kindness can have such a big impact on someone's life. Now, the funny thing about kindness is that it only ever has a positive effect on someone's life. It has a positive effect on the life of the person that you're showing kindness to, but it actually has a really positive impact on your life as well. It actually makes you a happier person and it makes you a more kind person. Kindness is just awesome. Now, I want to show you a really fun experiment down here on the table that will show you exactly how kindness works. So, eyes to the table and let me show you this really cool thing. Okay, so I've got a little container and I've got a jug of milk. I'm going to pour the milk in here. Let's pretend for a moment that this milk represents your family, your friends, people that you know. Okay. I've also got some little bottles of food coloring. Now let's imagine that this food coloring are the possible kind things that you can do towards your family, your friends, the people that you know. These are the possible kind things that you can do. See, there's a lot of them, isn't there? All right. Now, lots of opportunity right here to be kind. However, it's only when you do the kind thing that something crazy happens. So let's pretend that this is you and you're choosing to go and do a kind thing. Look what happens. What's happening to these little drops of kindness? They seem to be growing and spreading and kind of creating something really beautiful, isn't it? You see, what happens when kindness bumps into kindness, it actually grows and it becomes something bigger and it becomes something far more beautiful. So take your kindness, activate it and watch it become something beautiful. Well, that was a fun experiment. I really enjoyed that. And it just goes to show us that there are so many opportunities and so many ways for us to be kind to other people. And when we activate that kindness, that's when it becomes so much bigger and so much more beautiful. And when our kindness bumps into somebody else's kindness, it kind of creates this really beautiful masterpiece. That's why kindness is so, so good. But I wonder, do you know what kindness means? Fun fact for you. Did you know that being kind and being nice are not actually the same thing? Both of them are very good. Being kind is good, being nice is good, but they're not actually the same. You see, being nice has got to do with being polite and doing and saying the right thing. Imagine with me for a moment that you are having a disagreement with your brother, your sister, your friend about whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza. Now there you are, you're in the middle of this disagreement where the pineapple belongs on pizza when suddenly your mom or dad or the teacher walks past and they hear this conversation. And they comment, now, be nice to one another. So, you hear that, and if you can, you take a deep breath and you do your very best to speak more politely, you calm down your attitude, and maybe even the disagreement stops and you choose to agree with the other person's opinion where the pineapple belongs on pizza. But what's really happening inside of you? Actually, you probably still 100% believe whether pineapple belongs on pizza or not, you believe your opinion about this. And if you were honest, you might still feel a little bit annoyed about the whole situation. You want to prove your point as to why pineapple belongs or doesn't belong on pizza. Being kind, however, is more than just putting a smile on your face. It's more than just swallowing your frustration and choosing to be polite. You see, being nice has got to do with our behavior on the outside. But sometimes, if we're honest, we don't really mean it when we're being nice. We're just doing the right thing. But being kind comes from the inside, from our heart. And we really mean it when we're being kind. So let's take the pineapple pizza problem as an example. Being kind to the other person means that you don't need to get into an argument about whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza. Kindness says that the other person can have their opinion about the pineapple, whether you agree with it or not. And the most important thing in this situation is not actually convincing them whether you're right or not, 
but that you both share your opinion without having to have a winner. That's what kindness looks like. So being nice often means that we do things or not do things so that other people think that we're a good person. We do the right thing because, well, it's the right thing to do. And that's good. It's good to be nice. But the focus with being nice is actually on ourselves. And that's why kindness is a little bit different. You see, when we're kind, it usually doesn't mean that we're doing something for ourselves. When we're being kind, we're doing something for somebody else. And the focus is actually on another person. You see, that's because kindness includes empathy. What is empathy? Empathy is being able to feel with our heart what someone else is feeling. So for example, when someone falls over in the playground, you have a feeling inside of you that says, oh, that must really hurt for them. Because you can remember a time when you fell over and you can understand how that person might be feeling in this situation. Then this is when kindness steps in with an action. Kindness means that you go over and help that person who has fallen over. So that's our difference. Being nice is great, but kindness is something that comes from inside of us and it creates an action of empathy or of compassion. That's what the difference is between kindness and niceness. So how can we show kindness? Well, now we know that kindness is something that comes from inside of our hearts. We know it's something that we do for other people. And the whole goal of kindness is to make somebody else's day a little bit brighter, a little bit better. And so there are many, many different ways that we can choose to show kindness. And I think right now in the middle of lockdown, when everyone's feeling a little bit bored or frustrated or stuck or overwhelmed, this is actually a really perfect time for us to show kindness to other people. And it's really easy to do, and it doesn't cost you anything either. So let me give you a few examples of some things that you can do to show kindness to your family and your friends. You can smile. That's a really simple way to show kindness. You can do a job around the house without being asked to do it. You can tell a funny joke. You can help your brother or your sister with something. Maybe you can write a letter to somebody. Maybe you can give a phone call to a family member or to a friend just to say hi just to say you're thinking of them. You can give somebody a compliment. You can say to mum, oh wow, your hair looks beautiful today. Or to dad, you look handsome today. You can clean up after yourself when you make a mess. That's really helpful, that's a kind thing to do. You can play a game with your brother or sister, especially the game that they like to play the best. Maybe you can pick a flower from your garden if you're allowed to, and you can give it to your mum. Maybe you can go and say, hey, dad, can I help you with the job that you're doing? And maybe if he doesn't need your help, you can still hang out and talk to him. That's a really kind thing to do. You can give a family member a hug. You can let your brother or sister go first for something instead of you going first. You can say sorry when you did something wrong. That's actually a kind thing to do. You can draw a picture for somebody and you can say, I love you. There are so many different ways that we can show kindness. So those are some great ways that we can show kindness to other people. But I've got one final thought before we finish up today. You know, it's super important not to just show kindness to other people, but to show kindness to yourself as well. How do you show kindness to yourself? And why is it important? You see, being kind to yourself helps you feel happier and it actually makes it easier for you to show kindness to other people. In fact, self-kindness is kind of like the key that opens the kindness door for you to show kindness to other people. You see, sometimes when we make a mistake, because we all make mistakes, it's easy for us to feel unkind towards ourselves. Mistakes make us feel silly. They make us feel maybe like we failed at something. Maybe they make us feel like we're not good enough. Maybe actually we feel a little bit angry and we think, oh, I'm so silly. Maybe we start to think that we're not as good as other people. All of these feelings make us feel unkind towards ourselves. And you know, when we're feeling unkind towards ourselves, it's actually easier for us to feel unkind towards other people as well. Because being unkind towards ourselves actually just puts us in a grumpy, bad mood. 
So we can choose to be kind to ourselves by reminding yourself of all the good things that you are, of all the good things that you can do. Think about those things that make you unique. Remind yourself that the thing you are struggling with and making a mistake with probably just needs more practice, more learning, more perseverance. Maybe you can't do that thing yet, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it. So the next time that you're feeling grumpy with yourself, take a deep breath and remind yourself of how much of an awesome human you are. Keep going. Then from that place of being kind to yourself, that door of kindness is unlocked and you can go and be super excited and super kind to everyone else. So I've really enjoyed talking about kindness with you today and I challenge you to do as many kind things as you can with your family and your friends during lockdown. And just watch with excitement as you activate that kindness and watch this masterpiece grow. And then watch your kindness bump into somebody else's kindness and create something so much more beautiful. All right, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. So, let's take the pizza. So, boom. So, those are some ways. Ooh. So, those are some great ways that we can show kindness to other people. Oh, 